Hello everyone, welcome back to Outriders. In this one, we're continuing on on the main mission. We have arrived at the Grand Obelisk. It's, the, it's what this place is called. I have no idea where we are. It's some sort of ancient civilization, it looks like. But it seems like the last four or five places we've, we've come across have been ancient civilizations. So, I don't know. Let's just see where the story takes us, I guess. So, here we go. Outriders, continuing on. Venture into the canyon and investigate the area. Okay. So we don't have any real objective here. Just investigate. Man, never get over that attack. So juicy. Oh wow, they're still coming. Mate, this is never ending. I guess towards the end of the game, you got to try and use your skills as much as possible, right? Okay, what we find? Search the remains. It looks like we weren't the first humans here. I'm seeing a number of dead bodies. The same people whose vehicles we saw? Out in the sand? Possibly. I'm guessing this party was sent out by Monroy, from that fort. Doesn't look like these guys had much more luck. Any more clues to who they were, what they were doing here, would be quite fascinating. Keep your eyes open. There's something up there. Uh, it doesn't tell us to go that way though right now. Might be some sort of side mission that we get later on. Who knows? Actually, let's, uh, let's double check the map. So we started over here. All right, we are in this area here, maybe? Cannon entrance? Oh no, you were here, Cannon Overlook. Okay, so we keep going through, we're gonna get over to this side, okay. So we're pretty much there, honestly. Oh, here we go again. You know what I'm gonna do, actually? I can't jump out. Alright. Yeah, we'll have to do it later. I was going to change out this endless map here. Because, I don't know. It's not really doing it for me, if I'm being honest. I expected it to do a little bit more damage. And honestly, it's sort of more of just a, a crowd control like, skill. It doesn't really do anything in terms of damage. Alright, you know what? Let's uh, let's switch it out if we can real quick. Uh, for this one. Alright, we did it.
Oh, whoops. I haven't used that skill in a while. Down. Oh, not yet. There we go. Oh, wait, what? Where'd he go? Oh man, they're not firing bullets now either. I'm not healing a lot. I hate that. Oh, now I know why they keep healing. Oh, I got no ammo. Oh, well, we are struggling. Come on. There we go. No, no healing light. Gotcha. Just in time. Oh, okay. Two purples for that. Good stuff. These should probably be upgrades, considering most of what we got on is blue. We'll sort by level. Oh, wow. Look at this. 4,000. Light machine gun. All right. We'll use that. Oh, are we getting attacked? No, we're all right. My controller was vibrating. All right. So our helmet seems pretty good. We don't really have to do anything there. Oh wow, gravity leap upgrade. Rolling increases your armor. Rolling increases your armor by 2,000 for five seconds. Just roll around the battlefield. That's really, really nice actually. Not really anything there. What do we got on now? Boulder dash increases. Now we'll put it on this one then because Tremor we're actually using right now. Oh, a, uh, a pistol upgrade. Okay, I'm down. Nice, nice. I like never use pistols, but I mean, an upgrade is better than no upgrade. Zahidi, I found some writing. Seems to be anthropological notes from a doctor in Dero Casio. A scientist among Monroe's people? What did she find? She was documenting what happened from the day they met the natives. Packs, they call them. Description matches August. She says they were welcomed with open arms. Packs. Yes, that would certainly fit August. Incredible. Another one of those those pillars. I think only Altered can open these pillars. I think it has something to do with the power that he has. If I had to guess, because. I think it always reacts with his power somehow. I don't know. Oh, here we go. I found some pages written by Monroy, these people's leader. He led the raiding party into this canyon, believing it was the Pharaoh's base that he could root them out. Maybe they were trying to help August's people. Tiago, does August know anything about this Monroy? I tried asking, but August won't speak about this place to me. Hmm, there's another one here, but I, I can't... what's behind this door. I can't interact with it. Whoa, he actually said something? It's probably relevant then. I mean, I can't do it now, but at some point I'll probably have to come back here. Maybe like a, a side quest? I don't know. I feel like half the stuff in this game has something to do with side quests. <laughs> oh, here's another one. Checkpoint. Always welcome. Oh, 
Oh wow, this is an interesting gun. It like starts off really slow. And then works into it. Oh, it has a huge magazine there. Oh, wow. Just tearing through them. Yeah, I don't mind it, actually. I really like this gun. I mean, obviously, it feels a little bit better because the damage up there is, is pretty substantial. Come on, mate. Show your head. One more. Okay, we're good. Path to the obelisk is clear. August and I are just right behind you, Outrider. Shouldn't you be waiting in the camp for my signal? Sorry, August slipped out. I couldn't. Uh... You all have to see this. Oh, no ammo. August. What happened here? Incoming! Get out of there! Now! Shit. Hide! In there! Go! Okay, we're up. Defend the entrance, okay. I think this is the entrance, but there's something over there. It's probably where we gotta go afterwards, though. Alright, here we go. Oh, this... This light machine gun is a monster, mate. It's so good. We could probably run out a little bit here. Reload time is, is so big. Alright, we're good. Okay, we did it. Try 
these cockroaches? I'm right here! What the hell happened to August? August's people weren't wiped out by savages. They became savages. Why would they do that? something you should know about. More of Munroy's writing. Seems he discovered the same thing we did. About the Pax transforming. Does he say why? Why they would do that to themselves? No. Only that he and his men stayed here for some time, studying and experimenting on the obelisk, trying to understand his powers while repelling non-stop attacks. But when he learned that his fort had fallen, he finally retreated back to his colony. His colony? That means there could be more of them out there. We should look for them. After we find the signal. Okay, back to Whatever the main mission. To we'll be waiting for you at camp. Let's find this signal. So that wasn't the uh, the last area. It keeps going. Alrighty, Channa, let's let's head on our way. So Canyon of the Great Obelisk, we were just there, now it's Unknown Region again. We're so close. The signal's coming from just beyond this ridge. Stay on the lookout. You see any movement, run. What is that? Sit tight, people. 
I'm gonna clear the way. It's time for some answers. Okay, so we're still looking for three different mm. remains. Also. What do we have here? Zahidi, I found some more writing from Monroy's people. I think we must be approaching their colony. It seems Monroy didn't believe the packs were so peaceful. When their tech started getting fried, he suspected the packs were trying to sabotage them. Then, just as a storm was brewing up, they caught the packs doing one of their obelisk rituals. Did Monroy think the packs were causing the storm? I, uh, thought the same thing when I first saw August in those ruins in the forest. Monroy ordered his soldiers to stop them. It was on that day that Dr. Indira recorded the first pack's death. Please collect all the ravens you find. Perhaps we can learn their story. Oh wait, what's going on? It's not working. Did you see that? The skill was like up, but it wasn't it wasn't like protecting me from any bullets. What was going on there? That was strange. Oh, I couldn't get him. Hang on. Oh, wait. I can't get up there. It's like not letting me... It's not letting me use it up here. Alright, let's try this skill out one more time. Oh, hang on. Probably better to take this guy out first. There we go. Alright, let's try it one more time. Here we go. See, look. It's not actually blocking anything. All the bullets are just going through. Weird. I don't know. Maybe because I... Oh, let's try taking it off. Oh, we can't. we got to wait for it. Right, let's take it off and put it back on again. And see if that... That fixes things. Before we do anything, because the skill's gone off cooldown, we only got one person left. If we take this off, put it back on. I don't know, it just doesn't seem to be working. Weird. I don't know why that skill is... It's, it's, it's like glitching out right now, I don't know. After the first big storms burn out most of their tech, sounds like Monroy got furious. He demanded explanations from the packs and access to their powers, but they didn't understand. They offered everything they could. They led Monroy through the jungle to their sacred city. Probably this city, the place we've discovered. All right, so if our if our skill isn't working here, there's no point in using it, right? Uh, what are we gonna do? We could become tankier. 
Impale. Let's use Boulder Dash, actually. We haven't used this this much. Wouldn't, would be nice to try it out a little bit. So we got two movement skills now, funny enough. Boy around the corner here. Okay. That works a lot better. At least we got three skills now. Oh, but just like a walking juggernaut. <laughs> Alright, we get a we get a bail for a second. We're in a little bit of trouble here. Level 26. Nice. Alright, let's check for upgrades. Oh, here we go. Boost your damage against affected... Against enemies affect, afflicted with bleed. Okay. Just a, an armor buff as well. Reflected bullets isn't that great, but we're just looking for the armor right now. Receive a passive firepower boost equal to 30% of your anomaly power. Not that great for us, because we're not really too interested in our anomaly power right now. Oh, this one's actually even better. It's automatic shotgun. Apart from that, this light machine gun is... Still the best fully automatic weapon I think that we could equip right now. So we'll keep that where it is. Oh, look at that. We got two points that we could invest in. I completely forgot. Try to show them how they communed with the anomaly. But Monroy thought it was a ploy to assassinate him. He ordered the executions of the Pax leaders and locked down the temple until he could learn how to control it himself. My God. Monroy, he misunderstood everything the Pax did. All right, let's in, invest in our points now. And we're finally going to get around to it. Increase your healing by 20%. Extend the distance. When an enemy dies in close range, 20% of your armor. I think that sounds pretty good. Extend the distance. You know what? I think we're going to go for 20% armor. We're going to go for armor here and armor here. I'm just going to become like a, a tanky beast. Can I, can I put this down? Hello, game, there we go. Something that occurred to me before as well is that we have actually, as far as I can tell, we haven't actually needed this, this unbroken vow. 
I mean, I may have just died and then not realized it and come here. back, but as far as I can tell. Oh, you definitely noticed that level bump. Now they're all level 28. Everyone just became a little bit harder to kill. Oh, here we go, big balls. Oh, we can't go through that? I thought we could because there's like a... It's like a thing on the other side, a checkpoint. Maybe we have to come back to this point. Oh, we gotta get this first. After they'd executed the Pax leaders, Monroy's people started moving into the city. This was their colony. They took over the homes of the Pax, forcing them to work for them, to serve them. In other words, they made them slaves. They believe the loss of their machinery was the Pax's fault. Doesn't matter what they believe. There's no excuse for enslaving another race. So, there's a, a side quest over here. Yeah, we'll grab it. Why not? Just a little bit curious. Oh, we have to enter the... Oh, it's a historian thing. You know what, let's not worry about this right now. We can always come back and do these historian things at a later time, because like I said, if we complete it at this level, then the item we get is also going to be at at this level. So let's leave this for now and uh, save all those, all those juicy rewards for when we hit level 30. There's got to be hundreds of dead packs here, executed, piled up. This whole city is a mass grave. Monroy's people, they did this. I think it's getting a real clear. Who the pack is scared of? Who they changed themselves into barrels to protect themselves from? Oh, 
I gotta get some. Gotta get some bloody life back. Oh, that was my ability. There you go. I would have died there. But that was the ability that can only occur every 180 seconds. Ah, oh, there we go. We've finally seen it. by these by these mini bosses here hang on oh and they keep healing as well it makes things super awkward One down. Oh no, that's this two down. Place, Sweet. It was a slave market. Okay, we must have just got the other one accidentally then. Seems like they got hit by the worst storm yet. Hundreds died, humans and packs. Some of the obelisks were damaged too, so. Whatever the packs once were doing to control the storms, they couldn't do it anymore. He feared an uprising, losing control as Pax started to abandon the city. Uh, Nikolai Galyatkin, Monroy made him general and put him in charge of weapons production. No doubt the same weapons the Ferals used against them later. Monroy. His palace is covered with flags, all with... It's gotta be his face. He made himself king of the Pax. A king? A tyrant. No, oh, here we go. Oh, we must be getting pretty close to you. Seems like it's like the final area, right? Because this, this shaman dude, he's not taking any damage. That may have been my skill that just occurred again. So I think I may have just died. <laughs> again. I hope this guy can't recover health though, otherwise we're in for a little bit of a problem. Okay, I don't think you can take any damage when that happens. I think I just have to run there. Oh, I can kill these things. Interesting. What is going on? We got like we got like multiple bosses now.
<laughs> oh, this is too crazy. Damage master, yeah, bloody oath damage master, mate. Can't throw out any, any more damage than what I'm doing here. Oh, there we go. Oh man, we gotta get some ammo. Okay, thank you. At least the ammo is readily available. Oh no, 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 no. Alright, we're good. Oh. oh, nearly, 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 nearly. Nearly got the second bar down here. Where if I didn't have this, this much armor, this would be so much more difficult. Alright, I think we're, we're doing the best with that automatic shotgun. So I'll keep reflinging the armor on that, or the ammo, sorry. Get there. A little bit more. Come on. Yeah. Oh, I got a lot of juicy stuff there. 
Wow, 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 wow. That was the final boss if I've ever seen one. Monroy was sending out raids to hunt down the fleeing packs. And that's when the uprising he predicted finally found him. But it wasn't the packs. At least, not as he expected. The Pharaohs. He never saw them coming. But Monroy didn't retreat. That asshole dug in out there, in the desert, and tried to track them down where they were coming from. That's when he found the canyon and the great obelisk. He finally understood there who the Pharaohs were. But that's when he got word that the city was under attack. And so it was. The beginning of the end. Oh, this place looks so sketchy. Oh, it's like a maze. I've made it to the top. Palace is clear. What do you see? You better come up here and see for yourself. What actually is this? It's like a throne in the middle. I have no idea. This Monroy was a madman. Hey, there's a ship! Is that... the Caravel? That's not possible. The Caravel never left Earth. Its engines exploded. Tens of thousands died. Then what the hell are we looking at? The source of fucking signal. Monroy's signal. There's no place beyond the storm. It's coming from in there, protected from the anomaly, just like the uplink in your goddamn briefcase. I don't fucking understand. Neither do I. It doesn't make any sense. Everyone saw the caravel explode during its construction. Even if the people left on Earth were able to rebuild the ship, they left after us. We were the first. Nevertheless, what's certain is that Monroy enslaved August's people. He butchered them, and they turned. They mutated into savages willingly, so they could fight back. I'm done with all this. Whatever's waiting for you on that ship, I want no part of it. Tiago. You can't leave us now. I thought you weren't a deserter. What they did to August's people. What our people did to August, don't you see? Thank you for letting me walk away with you. We're going to finish this. We're finding a way into the caravel. Finding a way into the caravel. This is it now. That ship, the signal, the garden. I'm ready to make some sense of all this. We'll leave on your word, Outrider. Leave on your word. Okay, I have a feeling this is coming to an end. This could be heading off to the last area. Um, this episode is actually going to become fairly long, but that's okay because I think fitting, I think stopping it now and uh, starting it up again in the next episode for the final part would be a pretty, pretty small episode. So I think we can squeeze it in here. I mean, for all I, for all I know, it could go another an hour or two. Who knows? <laughs> I hope not, but we'll see. I think the caravel, well, it seems like the caravel might be the final area, especially how everyone's talking about it. There has to be a way inside the ship. I'll radio when I've secured a path.
So, let's, uh, let's check out this signal. Let's see if this signal is actually coming from within. And if it's on purpose or not. As a way to lure them here, maybe. Oh, all right. Not done going through hell yet. When the pack started to flee the city, Monroy rounded up every last one of them that stayed behind, that were loyal and trusting, and threw them into these labor camps. But I know of the packs, they could not have survived long in there. It was all Monroy. When he understood the packs were turning into ferals, he sent out an order to murder them all before they could transform. All of them. All but enough to run his camp. Alright, I'm happy with versing these little dudes though. These guys are always fun to kill. <laughs> and they're still level 30, funny enough. Oh, sorry, level 28. Hang on. Collect this first. It's a diary from Nikolai Galiakin, Monroy's general. Seems he was overcome with remorse at the end for what he had been a part of. He didn't retreat to the caravel. He decided to walk away from it all. Right into an anomaly storm. Oh, hang on. This is, uh, this is one of those historical areas again. We don't want to do this just yet. Right? I don't know. Was that not correct? Maybe that was the right way. Because the uh, the main quest line changed. I think I meant to go this way though. Hang on. We'll, be, we'll restock first. Yeah, I think we have to go this way. Monroy returned to the city to find it under siege. They battled for days. A complete bloodbath. And then, another storm hit. Monroy's people were decimated. That's when they spotted the Floris in orbit and called for help. They started broadcasting the signal. But it couldn't get through. Help never came. And Monroy ordered a retreat to their ship and locked it down. Same old, same old though, we still got the same guys that we've been versing the whole time pretty much. Man, those bullwhack things, they can take a hit.
Oh, I concentrate. Alright, there we go. We just gotta take out this sniper now. This annoying little sniper bro up here. Oh, look at that. Nearly level 27. All this time, all we've been through, the battlefields, the jungles, the alien ruins, the desert, all we've lost. I can't believe we're finally here. The goddamn signal I heard the day we landed and still, none of it makes any sense. Oh, I think I'm starting to put it all together. The way the Pax controlled the anomaly with their obelisks, they are what kept the planet's energy in check. They were the balance. But when Monroy stopped the Pax from using the obelisk, out of pure fear of what he couldn't understand, the anomaly spread like wildfire across the planet, the storm surging out of control, mutating everything. All this time, if we were gonna reach a place beyond the anomaly. Hoping to find a place that all started. Really Monroy started it. Oh wow, these guys are tough. Level 30 birds? Man, these guys aren't mucking around. Alright, there we go, one down. Okay, okay, there we go. His people? Who the hell were they? My father told me about the hordes. Thousands climbing over each other, trying to reach the floor as it launched. They're the ones who got left behind. And half of them probably slaughtered the rest for a last seat on the caravel. Tanner and Yakum, we all should have been down there with the rest. Hopeless, drowning in chaos. Nothing but dictators and madmen set loose. If the caravel's engine hadn't exploded and killed most of the outriders... We would have been the ones left on Earth. Two more soldiers in Munroy's damn army, fighting for any way off the Earth coming here to slaughter the packs and screwing up the whole damn planet before you all ever set foot on it. I'm inside the ship. It's still operational. Let's finish this. The end of the road, one way or another. Despite everything, we've brought the uplink all this way. I wish Jane could see us. Whatever's playing the signal, it's in here. Let's finish this together. All right, here we go. Let's finish this. You must Signal. We're here. Exactly as I saw it. As we saw it. China, that's not real. That's this planet, all right, but it's long gone. No. No, it's... Get the fuck off! It's... You okay? Oh. You're, you're here. 
I, I, I imagined this so many times. Never you. Who are you? Who am I? <laughs> Monroy? But how? How did you, how did this ship get here before us? How do you think? You people left us to die as the earth crumbled. But I don't die so easy, do I? No, we built a, a new engine. An engine that, that shamed all others before it. So while you were still crawling through deep space, we were already here. <laughs> oh, you should have seen it. Their primitive civilization, the natives, they treated us like gods. Yeah. I've seen what you did to the natives. Oh, oh. I see now. This isn't a rescue. Why didn't you come when we sent out the distress call? Huh? Thirty years since the Flores arrived in our skies. Thirty years surviving in this hell. This hell was because of you. My entire life trapped in that valley, slaughtering each other for nothing. You robbed our people of hope before we even got here. Now don't flatter yourselves. You were as capable of every wickedness. The packs weren't as docile as they looked. They had powers. So much power. Things I had to understand. So you just rounded them up? You tortured them, you son of a bitch. Are you really so naive? How long before those creatures tired of us? Before they turned against us? They would have had us on our bloody knees. All that I wanted was their powers. For us. For all of us. So we could survive. So we could be strong. Don't you see? We lost the Earth. Because we were meant for something more. There. But for the grace of I go you. Do you think that you would be standing there with the powers of a god if it hadn't been for me? All that I've done for humanity. I saved us. You cursed us. But I won. It's done. Fuck him. No more wasting time. I have to tap the uplink into the Caravel's power so we can reach the floor as before we... We found this. We gotta go. No, no, leave me. I have to do this. Do what you gotta do, Doc. That door won't hold long. Outrider, if that beast cracks this ship's hull, we lose electronics, we lose the pods, we lose everything. I'll take care of it. You just get those pods down. Okay, brother. We're on it. What do you say, beast? Okay, some sort of beast, apparently. Oh, defeat Yagak. Oh, God. <laughs> With a name like Yagak, that does not sound inviting. That. Look at that health bar. Crazy, I'm not doing any damage to him. I wonder if it's actually worthwhile killing these balls.
Oh my god. That is so much damage. Wow, crazy. I do not think I do not think this is gonna be possible on this world tier, if I'm being honest with you. Because I get two lives as well, so it means I died twice there. You know what? Let's uh let's drop the world tier. Down to the world tier four. Here we go, let's try again. Oh here we go! Oh, yeah. Man, that on World Tier 5 would have been a... Would have been rough, though. Bloody hell. Enemies, you kidding? And where to now? Oh, we go in the wrong way. Oh, we came from here. Whoops. Oh, a little bit disoriented there. Oh, what? That's not the end? You're kidding. No way. I just have to fully concentrate here. It's so nuts. Oh, 
Oh, these balls just come out of nowhere all the time. No way. No way. You're kidding me. Do you have to do all that again, like both versions of it? You know what? Let's bring this down one more world to you. I don't want to go through all that again. <laughs> that is crazy. We should be able to do it on World Tier 3, you know? I mean, it's not like we really optimized our gear, right? We just came to this point, we just kept picking up whatever was on the ground, and that's about it. I'm sure if we optimized our gear a little bit more, it'd be a little bit easier, but... For now, we'll try and finish it on World Tier 3. I hope. Oh my god, he hit me. He hit me with that bloody chain. Alright, you know what? This is taking too long. <laughs> I've tried this like five times now. I'm ashamed to do this, but uh, I think I'm going to drop it down to... to World Tier Level 2. We're going to keep the... Uh, we're going to keep the abilities how we had them last, but we'll just drop it down. Because, I don't know, I don't want to... I don't want to do this 20 times over. This has to be... Has to be done at some point. Oh, we actually got a level up there as well. There we go, now we're getting some damage in. Bloody hell. We take out some of these now. I was gonna bring in some friends. bit more. Yeah. Finally. Bloody hell. I had to bring that down from five to two. <laughs> How embarrassing. Sahidi! What's happening in there? It's working! I've contacted the florist. Transmitting the first launch codes. Now! Signal the uplink. 
It was all for nothing. Wait, guys, look. Over there. The pods? It, it worked? You did it. My god. I guess some of the commands went through after all. Well, like I always say, it ain't over till it's over. <laughs> what the hell? Monroe's people? No, I don't think so. Who are you? We're from the war zone. Are you the Outriders? We heard tales. About an altered outriders opening the frontier, finding a cure in the forest. We've been following your trail since the war zone. So, what now? We keep moving. You go in the first line for tomorrow morning. The Puds? They did it. The fuckers did it. So there we go, achievement, one last chance, bring down the drop pods. Sweet, sweet. Expedition, so this is that end game content. This is the good stuff. Team up with other players and, fence and face Enoch's challenges to collect drop pod resources and a powerful gear. Challenge tier, collect loot, collecting loot and final fight and boss. Not bad, not bad. Definitely going to dig into this in a different episode. But for now, I thank everyone very much for watching. This is where we're gonna this is where we're gonna stop it. This is the end of the campaign. We're probably gonna do a few extra parts, a few extra episodes on the end game content stuff. Cause uh, yeah, it seems pretty interesting. And a lot of these games that have a lot of loot collecting and a lot of end game based content sort of built into it, they are they seem to revolve a lot more around the the end game than getting to the end game. So I think it would only do this game justice to check out a few of the end game type missions and things and uh, yeah chuck a few parts up about those but in the meantime thank you very much for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed the series i look forward to hearing from what you have to say in the comments and how you enjoyed it and uh yeah hope you have a good day everyone and i'll see you in another video take care